Now, like so many of his countrymen, Nelson Mandela loved sport. But it was how he harnessed its power to heal a nation that many will remember as one of his greatest achievements. Channel 4 News has been granted access to exclusive interviews from the filmmaker Paul Martin. They were compiled over the last 20 years. They show how the former president managed to forge a nation from the field of play. Our sports correspondent, Kamian Zerum, has this. Rugby was always the Afrikaner sport, divisive, a symbol of apartheid. But to Mandela, the Rugby World Cup final in Joburg was an opportunity. It was just a year into his presidency. No one expected him to don the green and gold of the Springbok jersey. Just listen to the reaction of the crowd, a white rugby crowd. President to the captain. And when South Africa then beat the mighty All Blacks, the country celebrated as one. There it is. The victory parade brought unprecedented unity. This achievement had united the whole nation. And what happened, for example, in this victory parade yesterday, in which more than 100,000 people of all colors participated, welcomed them, does signify the fact that uh, this event has now united the entire country. Mandela's manipulation of sport to build a nation was no accident. In the week leading up to these scenes, knowing whites still feared him, the country's first black president flew to the team training camp. And moments before the final itself, he would visit them in their dressing room to say good luck. It's exciting. The guys are really thrilled. We were standing inside having photographs taken with the president. It shows you the hype. And uh, we respect him as a great leader. And his visit here has honoured us. So uh, tomorrow we know there's one guy in the stand that we have to play for. And that's the president. Before they went to the field, I went to their dressing room. And I told them that the whole country, black and white, was behind them. And they must go to the field fully motivated, knowing that they will bring glory to South Africa. The Springboks achieved that. In those heady few days, so much changed. Sport for Mandela did something nothing else could, and he knew it. Well, sport has the advantage that uh, it reaches areas which uh, cannot be uh, reached uh, by politicians or other kinds of opinion makers. So to that very extent, it is even more important in this country than perhaps other countries. They are chasing me away from the presidency. Mandela used cricket as he used rugby. At the official team dinner for the 1999 World Cup, he took his place next to the white captain, Hansi Kronje, and made white South Africans feel good about themselves. A little more than five years ago, any white person who went abroad would like to hide that he is a South African. He was a South African because South Africa was treated as a pole cat of the world, shunned by everybody. But all of us, you and them, have changed that picture. So profoundly had it changed that in 2004, FIFA voted for the Rainbow Nation to host the Football World Cup. Will be organized in South Africa. These African hands, this trophy, priceless PR for a country that had only been a democracy for a decade. In 2010, the tournament began. Sowetan said this moment was for Madiba. We are so grateful to him because he actually made it happen for us that the World Cup is here today. So we're grateful unto him. The very last time Mandela was seen in public before his health turned for the worse, the Football World Cup final. Nelson Mandela, the master politician, who honed his skill putting sport to work for bigger ends in where else but the boxing ring. When I was on a plane with him, uh, very soon after he was released, uh, we sat together and talked about only one subject, not politics, 
boxing. He loved it. He said this provided him with that one space where he could feel human, he could feel equal. And boxing, he says, is a great leveler. Uh, equality, there was no race issue as far as he was concerned in boxing, and this was the future of South Africa that he could see in the boxing gym. Nelson Mandela, who knew harnessing the power of sport would help him build his nation. Kami and Zerum reporting from this continent of contrasts, the agony of the brutally divided Central African Republic to the joyous celebration of Mandela's achievements in reconciliation and forgiveness here in South Africa. From London, from Bongi, from Soweto, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.